Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. We're going to be opening up some models today and some good models at that. I have been waiting to do this Super Treasure Hunt Showcase for a while. I have been clamoring to open these up, get these models out, get them out of these prisons. And I have decided to do that today. We are, what, through H Case in stores. Many of you have been lucky to find the Dots 510 uh, Super Treasure Hunt. We'll get to that here in just a second. Um, J Case is, a, is hitting, I think, with Kroger exclusives, and then we'll be hitting stores in a big way very soon. And then uh, K Case will be soon after that. I have the K Case from Mattel. I'm going to do that unboxing this week, but I thought we'd catch up on Super Treasure Hunts first. Mattel sent all of the Super Treasure Hunts to me so I can show them to you. You kind of know what to look for. Um, Get, it, get caught up, and I'm gonna leave a poll down. I typically, for the Lamley Awards, will do a best and worst Super Treasure of the Year. Let's get a little head start on your favorites. So far of these first nine, I know that uh, some of the future Super Treasure Hunts have been leaked. I know the KK Super is a Honda Civic, um, but uh, we're gonna talk about these first nine you pick where uh, where you want what your is your favorite so far, and then we'll showcase the final six a little bit later on. That's where we're at. Only six more super treasure hunts and six more mixes to go. Let's get right to it because this is a stellar year for super treasure hunts, and uh, I don't even know what I would consider my favorite. We will start. We're going to go by release. So this is the A case super treasure hunt. I'll show you how I know. This is the U.S. Uh, mix, and that last letter right there will tell you what mix this is. They release a Super Treasure Hunt. If you're not familiar with Super Treasure Hunts, in every case, there will be a regular version of a car, and then they will pick one from each mix uh, to do a, an enhance with real rider tire, Spectre Flame paint, you name it, uh, will be in those in the uh, just a rare. I don't know this. I don't know what the numbers are. I don't know how many per k or per like one per every five, 10 cases, I have no idea. But if you find one that is a little bit enhanced, you found a super treasure hunt. You can also know, if you look closely, if you look real behind that car, you'll see a little symbol, easier to see from the top, that says you found a super treasure. And I'll show you when I open it up. So let's open it up. This is the first one. This is the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo, a casting that I am particularly fond of, one of my favorites of the year a couple of years ago in blue. I did show you the regular. I'll show it to you again on the turntable. Beautiful. I mean, a lot of these castings this year, as super, you know, whether or not they were super treasure hunts, I was quite fond of, fond of. This clean blue 300ZX is one of them. And without telling you, I don't know which one's my favorite, but this one is up there as a candidate. Let's just get this thing opened up. I told you there'd be a symbol. That is what you're looking for, is that symbol. That will tell you it's a super treasure hunt. If it's a regular treasure hunt, I think it has some text with it too. Um, but uh, here you go. Absolutely stunning super treasure hunt with the dark blue Spectre Flame paint. It's got the, uh, what do you call those? The We'll call them the six spoke real riders. They're what the TE 37 inspired real riders. Absolutely stunning. Sometimes, I mean, you consider the super treasure, it's going to look better than the regular most of the time, the regular car, but not all the time. In this case, it does. Let's go to the B case. There's that letter B. It is the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. This has been a super treasure hunt before. Here's your regular version. This one looks quite different. Sometimes the Super Treasure Hunts are very similar, you'll see in a second. Sometimes they have enhanced deco, sometimes they're totally different with wheels and color. But as you look at the regular version with the black five-spoke wheels, the blue color, I think the, the deco is just about the same. There will be a TH somewhere. Um, you can look at it, the TH on the Z was pretty easy to find. On this one, the TH is there on top. Let's get this one opened up. You can see, Super treasure hunt symbol. And you can see this one. Like I said, some you know it when you see it. Others, it might take a little bit of looking closely, but this one is really obvious. It's not even the same color. The Z, you might look past it. This Corvette, no way. The real riders are totally different. That Spectre Flame aqua color is totally different than the blue. Even the interior is a different color. Uh, it doesn't have any enhanced deco outside of the TH, like any more deco, but. Um, but it is quite different. And then maybe that's your favorite of these super treasure hunts. Let's go to the C case. It is the Roger 
Dodger. Now I said some might be harder to find. Let's look at the regular version. Jet Black. This was uh, part of that you know series celebrating Mattel games, the Magic Eight Ball. If you look at the bottom, it'll have a message on it. This one's Don't Count on It. Maybe Don't Count on Finding the Super, which I didn't. The only Super I found this year so far in actually in person is the uh, Corvette. I found it at Walmart. So this is the Eight Ball Roger Dodger, kind of a cool, clean version of the Magic 8-Ball, and if you look at it, and I'll just put these together real quick, you can see with the Super Treasure Hunt, you have to give it a bit of a gander to know. I mean, again, collectors are gonna know, but um, this one is Spectre Flame Black, so it actually kind of comes out more of a, ooh, look, this one even has a little diagram on it, didn't even notice that. To look at the bottom, which is, I'll even show it to you. You got it and has the TH logo on it. So this one tells you that you got lucky and got that uh, that special Roger Dodger Super Treasure Hunt. So everything else is the same, right? I don't know where the TH symbol is. Is it only on the bottom on this one? It is. So as you look at this one, there's no TH other than on the very bottom of the car. I think that is probably a first. Unique Super Treasure Hunt. I know that collectors, especially the viewers of Lamley and stuff, we like the real cars, so I know the Roger Dodger is not going to get a, a fair play and uh, from uh, collectors, but as terms of favorite, but it's a cool super treasure hunt. Wind is picking up. I sure hope we don't see some things blowing up. All right, another one. This is along the lines of the Z from the D case. It is the 95 Mazda RX-7, just like the Z. It's got the six, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. I said that the, some of the regulars I would be happy with, and how about a Jet Black 300 or RX-7 with tan interior? That thing is just cleaner than clean. Look at that as I show you. Do you see the how they use the uh, chassis of the car to give it that cool, to give the floor of that cool texture? Anyway, very very cool model, super super clean with the front and the rear done. Jet Black PR5s work on this one but this super treasure hunt also in that Spectre Flame Black, similar to the Roger Dodger, is just phenomenal. I love the chrome six spokes on this one. This one also has the tan interior. This one you could put on a premium in a premium box and I would be super stoked. This might be the best premium version of the RX-7. I wasn't too fond of that yellow one because I didn't like the wheels. And of course the Fast and Furious versions I'm not too keen on. But um, this one is just a stunner. Absolutely love it. Um, is it my favorite? It's up there. It's up there with the 300ZX. Um, but I don't know if it's my favorite. I don't know if it will be my favorite by the end of this year. All right. E-Case Super Treasure Hunt is the Corvette C7 Z06 Convertible. This one got kind of stuck in here, so we're gonna have to move it. But what's interesting is we have this run of black supers, um, or Spectre Flame Black, because here is the regular version. k and Deco looks super cool in black. They got the drift style wheels on here because they're mismatched in gray. And what would that, what would you call that? Gold or copper in the back? And then that k and striping. It's a really cool model as is, has been the theme for the 2021 models and their super counterparts. Here is the Super. Now it doesn't get the mismatched wheels, but it has those five spoke uh, real riders on it. And it looks cool. Also in that Spectre Flame slash gunmetal gray uh, paint. Same deco TH on this one. Oh, we didn't even talk about the RX-7. Where's the TH? It's on the back, right? Really small. Yeah, just on the license. So that's what's very cool about that Super. This one gets the TH in the back. Um, as additional deco, I think in place of maybe Hot Wheels logo, or maybe there's nothing. But um, that's a really good looking Super Treasure Hunt as well. Funny that we're getting all these, that run of Spectre Flame Black. And then we go right to Spectre Flame White with the FK Super, let's get that in focus. Mazda RX-3, now this one, Every time I see this, I have to look really closely to see if maybe, just maybe, it's the Super Treasure Hunt. You know why? I'll just put these together. You start looking for the difference and you might have a real hard time. Because this one in the bottom is technically Spectre Flame White, but it is very hard to tell. We'll just, we'll look at that top one first. You can see it's got um, the steely plastic wheels on it. It's got the Mad Mike 
deco on the roof. It's got the Mad Mike deco on the side. You look closely, you'll see the Hot Wheels logo down below on the door. And then when I compare it to the Super Treasure Hunt, no additional deco other than that Hot Wheels logo turns into the TH logo, if you notice. And then it is incredibly hard. This one goes from the plastic steelies to the real rider steelies, and it is very hard to tell. It just is. You have to basically look at the wheels to know that that's a super treasure hunt, and I guess you could look for the logo. But uh, I wonder how many of those have been passed by. If you're looking for it, you're going to see it, right? If you know what to look for. All right. GK Super is the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 in beautiful gold. There's the art. Let's look at the real version. This casting was introduced last year, right, in 2020 in blue, and then there was a Dollar Gen, no, GameStop exclusive in red. And so this one gets the Mustang stripes on the side and then more of a custom stripe, or I'm sorry, on the top, and then more of a custom stripe on the side. Black 10 spokes look good on this one. Pretty standard Hot Wheels car for a Mustang, you know? I like the black 10 spokes. Let's take a look at the Super. All the same deco, only that TH pops there on the back. And everything else is the same. This one gets the GT style Real Riders in black. Let's open that one up. Now yellow, yellow cars that turn into Supers usually get this gold treatment. And I have to say, I really dig it for a Super Treasure Hunt. Was it the Silverado, I think, uh, several years ago? The 83 Silverado that got this. There was a court, uh, I think the Grand Sport got it too a couple years ago. Um, was yellow and then uh, the Super Treasure Hunt goes gold, which I think is super cool and makes for a very unique Super Treasure Hunt in my view. So deco the same, TH additional, and then of course the real riders, but the big difference is the yellow to gold. All right, this may be the most hyped Super of the year, no doubt about it from the H case just hitting now is the 71 Datsun 510 you think with all the history of this model it is crazy that we haven't seen it as a super treasure hunt this model would have been a big deal no matter what it always is and this basic version is very cool notice that J Lou down there we are all big fans of J Lou in this uh, in the Lamley world because he, uh, he gives us good sneak peeks gives us good information occasionally pops on the video feeds and we'll give good comments help you guys learn stuff you can see it's got the deco on the top it's this kind of I don't know what you'd call this color aqua um, but kind of a cool Datsun deco Hot Wheels uh, Hot Wheels logo on top of the 510 interesting interesting look for that car it's also got those cool classic wheels that they've now introduced into basics this super you're not gonna mistake you're not gonna miss it the wheels are totally different in the, with the four spoke real riders and of course this whatever aqua color turns into a spectra flame almost moss green I like it on the card I like the art on this one but we do need to open it up and poor J. Lou loses his name in place of the TH I like the clean deco on this one just the way it's done that it's not multiple colors it's open now what are you going to do all you're going to do is not drop it right John don't drop it don't drop it don't drop it there it is on the uh, on the turntable th on the trunk as well it has the, that kind of checkered pattern on the on the regular and then it gets the th on the trunk this is a really cool super i even like it better and uh, now that i've opened it does it uh, supplant the others that are uh, up there for me the rx7 and the 300 zx we'll have to see but maybe it's very cool super Maybe that's your favorite. You guys can vote down below, follow the link, and then comment on what's your favorite. All right, let's finish off with the J case, and then we'll, the JK Super, and then we'll move on to the K case, and we'll uh, we'll catch up later. It is the Porsche 356 Outlaw. Let's look at the regular. Except I haven't done the K case showcase, so the regular is still in the card. So we got to open that one up first. So let's get that done. Golf colors. So this one, I think, with Porsche fan, Porsche fans, and the Golf fans, this one might be a favorite. Uh, this one, again, would have been cool without a Super Counterpart. In Golf Colors, that 68 roundel on the side is fantastic. Really, really clean. I like the wheels and the kind of the hubcap style look for this Porsche. Just a super classic look. Big, big fan of the basic and big, big fan of the Super. We had the Ford GT40, right? That was a Super Treasure Hunt in Golf. And then we had that IndyCar 
um, was it a year or two before then that also went golf and super. I wonder if they're just going to keep doing it because they just know it's going to be popular. All right, this is the super. Let's take a look at it. You'll know this one because the when the golf colors go spectra flame, they totally change, but they look really cool. It's maybe not true golf colors, but yeah, the golf deco's there, the roundel's there, just the TH on the side takes place of the, of the Hot Wheels logo that's on the side. What a great super treasure hunt. I dig it. That's it. All right, guys, I want comments. You guys tell me which one is your favorite. I'll give you my top three so far. I'll give you my top four. This guy. This guy. This guy. And this guy. One of those will be up there as one of my favorites, but there's six more supers to go. Some I'm aware of. I don't know if I'm aware of all of them. I know I don't know if all of them have been sneaked for 2021, but um, you know that Honda Civic is going to be up there too with the HKS Deco. But I want to know which what is your favorite so far. Is it one of these four? Is it another one? Give me your reasons for the one you picked, and then uh, we'll do the final six later on and run the Lamley Awards in the fall more close to winter. We got still a few months. Thanks everybody. More to come this week. Bye.